Dozens of first responders rushed to the scene of Sunday's mass shooting in Las Vegas. You can imagine the carnage they saw, and some of them will struggle with this for months or years to come. Joining us now to talk about the importance of access to mental health care for first responders following a tragedy like this is Fiona Thomas. She is a paramedic with Austin Travis County EMS and the founder of the nonprofit The Code Green Campaign. Fiona, thanks for being here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your organization and what it provides to first responders all across the country. We're a very young organization founded in 2014 to help decrease the rates of suicide and mental illness in the first responder population. We provide therapy resources and money resources to first responders across the United States following traumatic incidents or cumulative stress incidents. When we think of law enforcement officers, firefighters, paramedics, we think tough, brave heroes. All true, but you're also human. So how do you cope after responding to traumatic events day in and day out, especially one as severe as what we saw in Vegas? Many first responders are resilient in and of ourselves. We go home and we talk to family, we talk to coworkers at the station, and manage to carry on just fine. But every once in a while there are, are calls or situations such as Las Vegas that have a tendency to stick or turn into ghosts, as, as it were. And they require additional help, such as therapy or inpatient treatment. And that's what we're pushing for with, with our project. You know, the Code Green campaign, you guys have started the Las Vegas First Responder Mental Health Fund. Tell us about the fundraiser and how that money is going to be used to help police fire first responders in, in Las Vegas. So insurance is fantastic and Nevada has wonderful workers' compensation laws. However, the first responders who were present for the incident still have to pay out of pocket for things such as talk therapy or if they end up needing inpatient alcohol treatment or if their family members need uh, family treatment then that all costs additional money and what our end goal is is to provide as much funding to them to where they don't have to spend extra money out of their pockets so in addition to, to providing funding, I know on your website, it's an outlet for first responders to talk about their experiences, correct? It is. The first thing we started doing was collecting people's stories about calls that they had run so that they had a way to, to get those calls out and tell their war stories, as it were. You know, can you give us a couple examples of how the buildup of the stress manifests in in first responders what are the some some of the things that that happen to them and, and how do they react sometimes first responders end up withdrawing from their family and their friends they could end up with substance use problems as a culture of firefighters and, and paramedics and law enforcement officers tend to drink it's very very common so sometimes that goes a little bit too far anger is also a, an issue that we tend to see now, if people want to make a tax-deductible donation, where can they go? They can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Code Green Campaign. They can also donate through PayPal, paypal.me slash Code Green, or they can send a check to P.O. Box 15365, uh, Spokane, Washington, 99215. Okay, and we're also going to have all that information on our website, fox7austin.com. Fiona Thomas with the Code Green Campaign, thank you very much for your time tonight and for your service to the community. Thank you, guys.